Do you want to learn how to speak another language faster without having to read a grammar book? In this video, I'm going to share with you the things that really helped me to learn better and faster English without having to read grammar books. Please make sure to stay until the end of the video because I'm going to share with you a very useful app that helped me to practice English. Hello everybody, my name is Roberto Avila. I'm a pre-med student my senior year of college in the US. When I first moved into the US four years ago, I was about to start college. This is why I had to improve my English. This is why I'm going to tell you the things that really helped me and will help you to speak a new language better and faster without reading a grammar book. The first thing that really helped me was social media. When you are learning a new language in school, you usually get the type of professional type of speaking that people don't usually use in a daily basis. So this is why if you want to have a good conversation with someone who speaks the language, uh, you should aim for learning the type of words that that people use. So this is why I think the social media is good for that because in social media, you will learn how they actually use the words and how they kind of phrase the things that they say and maybe the grammar that they use as well without having to read the book. And you will learn all sorts of things that you wouldn't necessarily learn from a book. This is why I think it is good for you to follow a lot of people who speak the language that you want to learn. In my case, I started to follow a lot of people who only speak English so that I could pick up the words from them and the pronunciation and all that stuff. And I think that this was very important for me because I started learning things that people usually say that I know I wouldn't learn from a book. So for example, let's say like a normal phrase that you will that you will say in English like just kidding. I feel like that's something that people would normally say in a daily basis. However, you don't learn that from books, even though you could probably came across that phrase sometime in a book, you don't usually learn about it. And this seems minimal for you if you speak the language. But when you speak Spanish or French or Chinese and you want to learn English, you probably don't know this is the phrase uh, that people usually use. And learning how to say it is important because in that way you can communicate what you're feeling to the other people. And when I talk about social media, I talk pretty much about everything. Uh, for example, I started using Instagram and following people. And I remember translating the words or just trying to come up with the context myself based on something I've learned before or maybe depending on who was the person who posted that. So I guess it's just kind of a fun process because you're not being graded based on the translations that you make. You're just like kind of doing it for fun and you're also doing it for yourself. So just doing that small change will help you a lot when you're practicing and when you are actually out there trying to speak the language. Number two, music, YouTubers, and movies. This is something kind of basic because everybody will tell you about music and all that stuff, but this really helps everybody. And if you have the chance to listen to artists who speak another language, the language that you want to learn, uh, just go ahead and follow those singers and try to learn the songs. Just to start listening to a few songs and gradually try to incorporate more and more songs. In that way, you will learn more and more of that language. YouTube usually has subtitles available for you. So you can turn on the subtitles and then you can try to follow what the YouTuber is saying uh, by reading the subtitles just as you will do uh, just watching a movie. And this, this is something that I remember doing back in the day when I was uh, learning the language. And I don't know, like I, I was learning from many different type of English speaking people, like people from Europe and from the US and from Australia. So I guess I kind of, I had kind of a mixed English from that, but overall, uh, all these people will understand each other. It's just a matter of different words and phrases, but the English is there. So <laughs> uh, you will end up learning the language anyway. I remember uh, watching this YouTuber, the, the Pointless blog. I was just having fun 
watching those videos and because they were funny and i was also learning the language so that that was pretty cool and that's something that you can do because uh like for example in spanish we have a lot of youtubers who who you would enjoy to watch like for example Ben shorts and th that's kind of like my favorite one so i would really recommend his channel and so just search for youtubers in another language and you will probably find pretty cool people Number three, writing and having someone to check your work. So for this one, if you are in college, you probably have tutors in college who will help you with whatever language that you're trying to practice. So I would suggest to just write a paragraph, maybe one page or maybe a whole essay about something and then go to the tutor and ask the tutor to correct your work. So what I will do is type down an essay and then print out the essay and go to the tutor and she will help me correcting with, with a pencil. She will help me correcting the stuff and the grammar and just rephrasing stuff and rearranging things, uh, rearranging paragraphs or rearranging words. In the process, I will be watching and asking questions and I think that was pretty helpful for the grammar because I was not reading, passively learning by reading a book. I was just like putting that into practice and typing down whatever and then going to the tutor. And I remember when I took my writing, my English 101 or writing 101, however your school uh, names the class, I remember I had to write three major essays, I think, or four, I think three. And two out of those three essays, I was the highest score and, and I had a comment from the instructor in both cases in which he was telling me, congratulations, your essay was the best essay out of the whole class. And this was for me very fulfilling because I just moved to the US and I was practicing as much as I could and I was seeing the results in my grades and in the comments that I was getting from my instructors. So this is why I think this is also something very important for you to do. Just put yourself out there. If you don't go to college or you don't have a tutor available for you, this is why you should stay until the end of the video because I'm going to tell you about this amazing app that will help you to practice uh, your listening and your talking and your writing and your reading. So. Please stay until the end of the video. And now let's go to the next point. Number four, the most important for me is lose the fear. Just lose the fear of saying things the wrong way or not knowing the pronunciation, asking questions, uh, just speaking the language overall because we will always uh, make mistakes and even the native speakers will make mistakes in their own language. So don't feel afraid or shy to talk and speak in the other language that you're learning because if you don't do it, you will never get to the point in which you are just speaking with another person in that language. So just start by making small steps in which you speak a little bit to yourself in that language and maybe also record yourself because that's really helpful. Don't feel bad if someone is correcting you because if you don't get corrected, you will always be making the same mistake when you're speaking or writing. And so this is why it's important for you to take uh, the corrections and feedback in a good way because that's that to me is something important because I love when someone corrects me and I know that I'm saying stuff wrong because in that way my English will improve faster. Don't feel discouraged if you don't understand right now completely or if you don't know how to pronunciate something or if you don't know how to say something overall uh, because practice is what's going to help you and to practice you have to lose the fear. So please out of anything that you could get out of this video, losing the fear is the most important. Now the extra stuff that I was talking to you about. The app is called HelloTalk. So HelloTalk is for people who are learning uh, the language from the beginning or who are advanced. So this is mainly for practicing. Like I said before, this is for speaking, practicing speaking, practicing hearing, reading and writing. So what this is about is 
you can connect to with other people who are native speakers of the language that you want to learn and they will help you to practice all of what I mentioned before and the thing of this app which is free is that you are the native speaker of the language that the other person wants to learn so you will also help them with their language if you feel like you want to practice writing the app is designed for you to get corrected and that way you will like for example you will write a text and say like something that i went to the grocery store today and i bought a pineapple and just write that and then the other person will have the option of correcting everything and you will see the the color coded corrections and you can also read what they're saying and then ask questions like i feel like the amount of practice that you can get out of this app is limitless because you are not paying for this uh you're just helping others and others are, are helping you so if you also have homework and you don't know how to do something you can just go ahead and ask and you don't have to wait for the tutor to answer or whatever you can just go ahead and ask the people that you already know and the friends that you have already made in the app so definitely uh consider downloading the app and just try for yourself <laughs> i really hope this helps you because this is what has helped me during all this time of speaking a new language i would like you to answer in the comment section below the most important thing that has helped you to learn a new language please subscribe to my channel to get more content like this please follow me on instagram and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you can know when i upload new videos thank you very much for staying until the end and i hope to see you in the next one